What is the big deal with daily painting? Why should you do a painting every day? These are four reasons why you should paint every day if you want to improve your painting skill. Hello, I'm Guinevere. Welcome back. If you're new here and you want to improve your skill and share your vision, hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the little bell icon so you don't miss anything and I will help you make beautiful art and go totally pro. Here we go. Four reasons why you should paint every day. Number one, to improve your skill. Painting every day gives you an opportunity every day to improve your skill to repeat, to practice, to experiment, to try different things. Each day is an opportunity for growth and a chance to try again. Great artists and even good artists practice all the time and paint very regularly. Not every painting you paint is going to be a masterpiece. So you really wanna get these bad ones out of the way. What better place to do it than in a small daily painting? And I just can't say it enough, practice, practice, practice. Number two, different subjects. Since we're doing all this practice, it only makes sense that you would try painting different subjects. Perhaps you're like me and there's a lot of things that inspire you to paint. With daily painting, you get to paint them all. One day you could do a still life. The next day you can do a landscape Perhaps you want to practice your portraits. There's really no rules. You can paint whatever you want to paint. Take this time lapse for example. I made these little paper origami lucky stars, arranged them, and just decided I'll paint those. What the heck? As my subscribers know, I paint a lot of different subjects. Guess what? Bonus! If you're painting all these different kinds of things, it's only more practice. It goes right back to number one and you'll improve your painting skill. I know, I know. Now you're thinking, but what if I'm not inspired? Well, that brings us to number three, confidence. Painting, even when you're uninspired, is really important because this is where the real practice comes in. You don't know what to paint. You can't decide. You're not sure. So just paint whatever. Paint an orange. Paint an apple. Paint something very basic. After you've had a day or two of not being able to figure out what to paint, once you can get over that hurdle and just paint something, paint anything, it'll really increase your confidence in painting. Be like, well, I was uninspired the other day, but it didn't matter. I painted my shoe and it was a great painting because I went ahead and did it. Whatever you choose, just point a light at it and you're ready to start painting. I find that still life works really well for daily paintings because you have a lot of things right at your disposal available for you to paint right now, right away. Another thing you can do is just paint the same thing that you painted yesterday. Painting the same thing a second or third or fourth time will really boost your confidence. There's a good chance the painting will get better each time. It doesn't really matter what your subject is. What matters is practice. If you're doing a painting every day, you are gonna be searching around, trying to figure out what should I paint today? So you could paint your sunglasses. You could paint your paint tube. You could paint a tape dispenser. You could paint your dog. You could paint your mom. You could paint a weird nine volt battery charger. You could paint your car. You could paint a chair. You could paint the mouse of your computer. If you're still looking for things to paint, you can always paint a color wheel with my color wheel video. I'll show you just how to do it. There are so many different things that you could paint. Each day is a different opportunity. Man, after painting all those different subjects, you probably got a lot better at painting. Which brings us number four, quickly see results. Instead of having to wait months, years, before you feel like you're a great painter, daily painting can really speed the process and get you there a lot sooner because it builds your confidence. You've already painted all these different kinds of things. But one of the most fun parts about daily painting is looking back at all the paintings you've done. 
you are going to see rapid improvement in your art in a very short amount of time. Pretty soon you'll be painting things you never thought you could have painted a few weeks ago. You'll be able to start your own painting collection. You'll actually start to have storage issues. Where do I put all these paintings? You can also do your paintings in a sketchbook to save a little money on canvases. I'm doing daily paintings every day for the month of February to keep my skills up while I'm between large paintings. The goal is really just to practice art as frequently as possible. There are so many things to learn and master in art, such as value, form, just drawing alone can take a while. Keep it simple, but keep on going. I hope you'll join me in your daily painting process so you can improve your skills and share your vision and I'll teach you how to make beautiful art so you can be totally pro. Oh hey, check it out! That's another one of my daily painting videos. See you next time!